Danger decoded. Loading danger. Location, Wisconsin, USA. Ship launch. In 2013, there were over 2,500 shipping casualties worldwide. Ship launches can be spectacular, but if they go wrong, the consequences can be fatal. Scenario loaded. Danger imminent. Can you spot the vital clue and decode the danger? Did you see it? Analyzing danger. Steel cradles are supporting the ship, but they're designed to detach when in the water. Steel has a greater density than water. For it to float, its volume must be increased by 10%, while its weight remains the same. If one of the steel cradles fails to detach from the vessel's hull when submerged in the water, the extra buoyancy could leave the ship unbalanced and make it capsize. Did you see anything else? The ship is entering the water via a metal launchway at a 12-degree angle. Almost half of all shipping losses worldwide are due to sinking or submerging. If the heavy ship hit the water at speed, its cradle could be damaged on impact, potentially puncturing the boat's hull, causing it to flood and sink. Now watch again closely. Look at the soft wooden packing layer protecting the ship's hull from the launch cradle. And notice the person filming is less than 100 feet from the launchway. You are more than twice as likely to be injured working in a shipyard than in the construction industry. If the launching cradle wasn't properly secured, the wooden packing layer could blow out when the boat hit the water. The massive water displacement would propel the lethal wooden shards straight at the camera person. Danger analysis complete. Review possible outcomes. Ship rolls on side after launch. Vessel damaged. Ship submerges. Shattered wooden packing explodes towards camera person. Which crucial clue decodes the real danger? <laughs> the force of the water dislodged the protective wooden layer and it exploded towards the unsuspecting camera person. The vital clue was the proximity of the camera person to the ship. When the 2,700-ton ship launched, the equivalent weight of water was immediately displaced, causing a massive upwards force which sent wooden shards flying towards and beyond the camera person. Miraculously, despite the potentially lethal force of the blast, the camera person only suffered minor cuts and bruises.